Hey guys, welcome to another video. On this episode, we'll be talking about the four stocks that I'm adding to my Robinhood portfolio. For those of you that don't know, I have two portfolio accounts. One is with M1 Finance, which is more of an automated way of investing, and another one which is Robinhood, and that's more of a tailored approach. My M1 Finance portfolio has a certain number of stocks that I assign percentages as part of my total portfolio that basically invests itself and rebalances itself all on its own. All I have to do is fund money to that account and it does the rest. If you don't know what that is or if it sounds super confusing to you, then go take a look at one of my other M1 Finance videos and you can see all the holdings I have. And also the first M1 Finance video I did gives you an overview of the platform. Robinhood is my other investing portfolio. That one is a more tailored approach. And what I mean by that is I actively buy and sell stocks. Well, I actively buy stocks. For those of you that don't know, I'm a long-term investor. And so I really believe in buy, hold, and dollar cost averaging all the stocks that I'm adding to my portfolio. One of the most popular sayings on the internet about investing and about stocks is time in the market beats timing the market. What this means is that you just have to buy and hold your stocks for a long time. Generally, if you're picking high quality companies, you'll see a return on your investment year over year. That's the philosophy I have. So you'll see that I'm buying, buying, buying. You won't really see me make videos about selling because I'm not doing anything super risky such as options, day trading, or any of those other types of investing. I'm very much just a buy and hold type of guy. If you've been looking at some of my other videos, then you probably have an idea of what I'm buying. The first one is SPHD. SPHD is the PowerShares S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. I like it because it has a fairly high dividend yield at 5.69% at the time of this video. And I'm currently dollar costing my way into a bigger position or a bigger number of stocks for this company. I currently have about 16 shares uh, with the dividend reinvestment plan. There's actually 16.064848 and if you don't know what dividend reinvesting is and basically because the SPHD stock is a dividend issuing company I get passive income monthly from this uh, ETF and that dividend or income gets automatically reinvested because the dividend that I'm getting issued isn't equal to a full share it actually reinvests and buys fractional shares of the stock. I currently have around 16 shares. I'm trying to increase my positions to be around 50 shares. Uh, that I'm going to do over time. And week after week, you'll see me telling you that I'm buying more shares because that's just what I do. I dollar cost average and I buy uh, little shares or I buy uh, a small amount of shares each week until I reach my goal of 50 shares. The second stock that I bought is SPYD, SPDR Portfolio, S&P 500. High Dividend Yield ETF. This has a high dividend yield of 6.2% and I'm trying to increase my positions to be about 50 as well. Uh, for this ETF, I have around 16 shares as well. And so SPYD and SPHD are two of the dividend ETFs that I'm currently dollar cost averaging. And so each week I'll be buying a new share for each company. The third stock I bought is Nokia. For those of you that watched my other 5G video, Nokia is one of the stocks that I believe is going to really increase in its uh, value once 5G technology starts really getting implemented. Also on that video, I talked about one of the 5G ETFs, which was FIVG, which is uh, one of the ETFs that has a whole bunch of companies that is really geared towards investing in 5G technologies. That ETF has Nokia as its highest holding, and as such, uh, apart from that, based on research I've done, I think that Nokia is going to see some pretty good returns in the long term. Again, most of these stocks I'm buying and holding for around 5 to 10 years, if not more. So right now it's trading around $4.20 uh, at the time of this video. And so let's see how it does in the long term. Uh, it's pretty cheap, so it's an easy way to add diversity and 5G stocks into your portfolio. All right, guys, and the last and newest holding that I am adding to my portfolio is CrowdStrike Holdings. CrowdStrike Holdings is a cybersecurity platform that helps companies protect their information and their software from attacks and breaches. What's nice about the software is that it's cloud-based. All of the defense that it does is in the cloud, and so 
when it gets attacked or gets breached, it adds that information into its system or into the knowledge it has as it gets more customers and as it solves and saves a lot of breaches, that information gets added into its system, into its memory, and it makes it that much more secure. It's a relatively new IPO. I believe it um, IPO'd in 2019. However, this company has been around since 2011. This is one of the forefront contenders in the uh, cybersecurity and information technology space. And so I added two shares of CrowdStrike Holdings to my portfolio. Again, this is more of a long-term investment. I don't believe it issues any dividends right now, but I do believe that it will grow over time. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys currently have CrowdStrike Holdings in your portfolio? Are you bullish or bearish about this company? Uh, also, let me know what you guys added to your portfolio this week. Are you guys timing the market or trying to buy and sell stocks? I know there's a lot of noise out there. I'm of the mindset of buy, hold, and dollar cost average. And you'll hear me say that a lot in my videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you're looking to connect with me on other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I'll leave links in the description down below. Also, don't forget to smash the like button to tell the YouTube algorithm that you like the content we produce. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.